Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So I've got something a bit different for you today. I went to China on a business trip and just thought I'd share my experience with you guys in the vlog. So I hope this gives you a bit of insight as to what it's like or if you're thinking of starting a business, I hope this vlog kind of helps you or kind of gives you just a bit of information as to what to expect when you go there. So if you have any questions, let me know and I hope you enjoy. <laughs> So we just reached the hotel. So we just got into an argument with the cab driver, what I did because he said 300 at the airport, but then just now he said it was 379, so yeah, he wasn't being honest. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> this is Fred. I'm and he's so hungry. <laughs> You're yeah. so hungry. Yeah. Or so am I'm, I. No, no, no. Akari. Akari. Yo, G L Y, you know. Okay. okay. No, you're not. <laughs> no, so you're not. You're no. not ugly, Fred. But yeah, though, he's not, cute and he's good. helping us with our bag. So, yeah. Fred's lovely. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be my friend's room because my room's not ready yet. But I'll just show you guys. It looks really nice. So this is the bathroom, this is the bed, this is the king size room by the way. Desk, because obviously this is, I think this is a business hotel, which is what we came here for, so it's, it's appropriate. And then, his own balcony, which is so cool. The view's not all that though, and the view's not nice at all to be honest, but I don't really think that matters too much, because you won't even be there here. bathroom and the toilet I've also got a shower in there which I'll probably be using the most because I prefer to use showers got my own desk got a TV and I've got two beds which I don't need so I'm going to push them together to make one and this and then my own balcony the view isn't really great hold on so now I'm in the hair factory having my first meeting. So I'm gonna show you guys around the factory. It's really big. So literally they make all of this. So it's kind of like a show and then downstairs they have like people making everything in the factories. Here are some of the wigs. So we're just going to repair my iPhone because sadly it's coming on. It's so upsetting because I can't even take Snapchats. Hello. Hi. So what, what do you own your business in? My, my business? Yeah. My business is a uh, liquid silicon rubber. Okay. So he's acting as my agent here because he has experience and he's Chinese. And these, these roads look mad. Everyone crosses red light. No, it's red line. Uh, zebra line. I just feel like there's this so much nothing. happening. You know we got to try so KFC, innit? No. How long you been? <laughs> you can try it. Because you speak so nice English. <laughs> Teach me some Chinese. For example, what do you, what do you want to know? Anything that I need to know. Look at the police. Guenduze. Guenduze. It, it means, it means we're talking nonsense. Do I talk nonsense? Yeah, it means. It means he said it, yeah. It means so. Do, do I talk nonsense? No, no. Oh. I, I just think you're not in uh, Okay. Guenduze. So apparently in China, people want to work in the government because it's very high income. But the cost of living in China is really cheap. Okay, but I'm not too sure this is an apple store, you know. I've never seen an apple store that looks like this. Um, how, how are you charging it right now, though? Why, why aren't you charging it from here? How come it's charging there? He will fix for you. Replace it. Now it's yours. is not yet uh, taken out. Ah, uh, I see. Is it charging? 
Okay. Yeah? Okay. Yours is here, it's not uh, taken out now. Ah, uh, okay. So they block Google? No Google, no Facebook, no YouTube. And no YouTube. Why? You know the reason, I think. I know the So this is where they've put us to eat. We weren't expecting this. After an hour of walking around trying to look for somewhere, I hope this feels nice. Finally back at the hotel. It's been like 3 a.m. here. I'm back in Duangguan after flying from Zhangzhou and the flight was delayed. So I was actually meant to be back in um, Guangzhou at I think 11 p.m. but we didn't end up arriving till like 12, no one. So yeah, I'm knackered and I have to be up in a few hours. Um, so yeah, I'm, I actually had two meetings today in Zhangzhou, one in Hayes and then one back in Zhangzhou with another manufacturer and um, I actually went to the factories and I saw where like they make the hair weaves and stuff. They said I can't film it which was annoying because I would have liked to show you guys what it's like. Next location tomorrow is Guangzhou, but the city centre so I'll film you guys and see y'all tomorrow. Bye. Say hi Robert. Hey guys. <laughs> Do you like hip hop? Hip hop. Sometimes. <laughs> what hip hop artists? I, I I know Usher, you know? Usher. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know Kanye West? Yeah. No. Fifty Cent. Yeah, yeah, I know. Fifty, 50 Cent. Yeah, what what song? I don't know the <laughs> song, but I know this name. Okay. <laughs> uh, I, I know Ego. Who? Uh, Ego team. Ego. Yeah. I don't California. know. California. Hotel California. Tupac. Yeah, Tupac. Ah, you like Tupac. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Oh, the, the, how we, <laughs> uh, Rihanna. Oh, Barbados. Barbados, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just now I said Dodo bus. No. Do you know Jay-Z? JJ? Jay-Z. Jay yeah, sure, sure, sure. You know Jay-Z. Jay What's your favorite song of Jay-Z? I forgot. <laughs> but I know his hip hop. Do you know Beyonce? Yeah, sure. What's his, his wife. Yeah, yeah. E even if you're from China, you need a visa. Yeah, I need a visa, special visa, but none yeah. has a visa, same like you got. Y yeah, so you even if you're a Chinese oh, nation, Chinese citizen, you well, still need a visa to that go home. That's really disgusting, you know? <laughs> really disgusting. Because I'm they... a Chinese, why do Chinese <laughs> like a land? Why should I get Exactly. You shouldn't have to. Yeah. Ch Hong Kong's like a half an hour drive from here, but we yeah. can't go because I've, I've only got... Um, a Chinese visa, so I can't go to Hong Kong. Yeah. Which is a shame. Why can't we use Google in China? Because Google is so open. Mm. So now we are in Guangzhou. Lots of traffic. Like we are in Lagos. So we've literally been sat in traffic for about an hour. Like, it's, nothing's moving. I fell asleep, woke up, we're still here. So this is the factory where they make yeah. hair, but everyone's gone home now, yeah, which is a shame. From Fantasy, yes, and nice she's. To meet you. <laughs> <laughs> this is the our, main office. Yeah. This is the Hello. show. Yes, <laughs> I'm just getting some footage.
is a tequila. That's mad. Never taste before? No. In in London we have card. Oh yeah. Yeah. Me, I have card too. That's mad. <laughs> this is. A I've got Ivan and and yeah, So I'm in the black part of Guangzhou now. I can see some. There's loads everywhere. come here for business so they've got lots of different businesses here Oh, you guys can't see that they gave me to eat. And they said it's called red rice. And it's really nice to taste like Indian food and it's got chicken. So I'm about to have like three hours of treatment. This is the shower and I have a steam room to myself. I've never actually done anything like this before. Wow, that is steaming up. I'm not bringing my camera in there, but yeah. So I'm about to have a facial, massage, and a pedi. So that's it guys. As you can see, it was a really chaotic trip and I didn't really get the chance to kind of just rest and explore China as a city as much as I would have liked to, but hey, I kind of like booked myself up so much. I had five different meetings, some in different places in China where I had to drive to or take a plane to so as you can see it was quite intense but I enjoyed it and I feel as if I accomplished all the things I needed to whilst I was there. Obviously there's stuff that I would change if I could go back, I would definitely stay longer next time because I only stayed about four days. Um, if you guys have any specific questions then please ask me because it's like a lot to cover in just one video. But I will say that China is really really good for business especially as they're like I think one of the leading distributors and manufacturers in the world so they're great for everything and even though you may hear stories about how they're manipulative or dishonest or deceitful you won't know until you actually try and experience for yourself because I came across the most lovely honest people for instance Robert who my dad put me in contact with is one of the most honest people I've come across and he was so helpful like nothing was too much for him he helped um, help me find some factories he helped with interpreting he helped me find um, locations he just helped me out a lot and just in general even the actual manufacturers they were really on it they were honest um, I can see that the factories are legit. You, sh you should always look for certificates to make sure that the factories are legit as well. One of the reasons why I did go out there is just to kind of see for myself and just make sure I'm not going to splash out a whole load of money on a product that ends up being a scam or ends up being a, from a manufacturer that's not trustworthy or not legit. So always make sure you do lots and lots of research. If you can and your budget allows it, go out there and just get as much information as you can you won't know until you try so I would say if you want to start a business and China is one of the places you want to get your sources and your products from 
go for it. 